Just a month ago, we were glued to our television sets watching the events of the Boston Marathon bombing unfold. It seemed like an impossibility. It has probably formed one of those where were you when this happened moments. Folks of my era remember the assassination of JFK that way. Younger generations remember 9-11, Columbine, Sandy Hook, and a growing litany of powerful media images that seem designed to shock us. Author Nicholas Taleb calls these occurrences black swan events. The metaphor derives itself from an understanding that all swans used to be white. The belief was that no other color of swan could exist until black swans were found in Australia. Taleb developed this visual description to explain how we were all shocked when the 2008 financial crisis hit. If one can ask, how could this possibly happen, then what's probably happening can be defined as a black swan event. Taleb's point, however, is that all the data were available to explain the financial meltdown of 2008. Pundits were shouting to anyone who would listen about the lack of regulation, the explosion of marketing toilet paper derivatives, and, and many other indicators. But the public and its caretakers and industry regulators were all too self-involved to pay attention and take action but proceeded to bury their heads in the sand. Then, boom, cash was sucked out of the market like a 60s hippie token a joint, and the market dropped to under 50% of its value in just 18 months. All the ex post facto investigation clearly shows exactly how this occurred, but it's still perceived as a surprise at the time, at least socially, and hence as a black swan event. So a month ago, three innocent bystanders got blown up by a frustrated, radical anti-American for some idealistic reason only he knew. Maybe his brother can help us sort it out before our rage sends him to the gas chamber. But how can it be a total surprise? The Russians told us we had a problem with Tamerlan Sarnaev. The CIA knew about him. Everybody knew he'd spent six months over in Chechnya. So he was on somebody's radar. Black Swan events are, are events that we claim surprises, even though we had enough data to accurately predict the probability of their occurrence. But then there are those incredible, wonderful events that occur against all odds with no data supporting their probability. I, not Taleb, call these Silver Swan events. Three women rescued from 10 years of imprisonment, rape, and torture by a most improbable hero in Cleveland. Two young men rescued from an unassuming apartment right over here in Kirkwood, Missouri, one who had gone missing for over five years. And then there's the woman recently snatched alive from the rubble of the collapsed factory in Bangladesh after 17 days where over a thousand had already perished. No statistical model could predict these, but they happen all the time. It seems fortune can be capricious. The media will keep our newspapers, televisions, and web access fully focused on black swan events. You don't have to work to find those. But I submit a more valuable use of our time might be to simply acknowledge and be grateful for all the silver swan events that occur right under our noses, large and small, all the time, every day. Shit happens. And wonderful happens. And my experience tells me they're more balanced than the media would have us believe. And possibly more balanced than even we ourselves believe. I'm Kim DeMott, corporate co-driver, and this is another moment of clarity.